Hello there, I'm Vigalius. How are you on this evening? I'm just wrapping up some commentaries. Um, I don't know what happened to my voice then. Sometimes I was underwater, but I don't want anyone to know that. Um, yeah, I, I'm just wrapping some up, getting some stuff off my chest. This is going to be my last one, but I really, really do want to talk about this because it's really annoying. Um, so let's get annoyed. We're going to get annoyed. It's one of those. Um, but this really, really has rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, so we're going to get fairly serious in this. So Twitter uh, is awful and I, I way worse than it ever was before um it's it just filled to the brim with with musk fanboys and crypto uh, bros and people who post alpha male podcasts and stuff it's just man it's awful it is really bad um and there's this thing going around it's not a new trend it's not a new thing um but it's a it's the image of the guy from tangled i don't know his name <laughs> i've seen the film a thousand times because uh, my my kid but um it's the guy from tangled and he's got all the swords and they're pointed out at him but i think he has a bit of a smirk because he's like this is my opinion dude this is what I have to say. And this has kind of taken the place of the tough to uh, swallow pill uh, meme and the change my mind meme, you know, stuff like that. Um, this is the big one that's going around. But it's unfortunately been hijacked and being used to just spread stupid opinions. <laughs> just the worst. Awful opinions. Um, because people kind of forget what the format of the meme is, I guess. Uh, and people are like, nah, dude, I mean, this is genuinely, this must be true. The guy said it and it's got 20,000 likes, but it has and it does. And they snowball into tons of likes and people agreeing with these arsehat dog shit opinions. Um, and there's two that I really, really disliked and I guess kind of fuel this commentary. Um, the first one is, um, and I'm, I'm going to paraphrase both of these, but the essence is going to be correct. Um, so it was, what is your opinion that would get you in this position? So we're going to go with unpopular opinion um, on introverted people. And the second one was, what is your um, unpopular opinion on mental health? And the first one... The first one, the person said, um, I, I, unpopular opinion, but I believe that uh, being introverted is directly linked to how much money you have. And the second one was um, unpopular opinion, but in essence, going to the gym and going out and touching grass will do more for your mental health than anything else. Okay, we're going to delve into it, and I'm going to get really annoyed. Okay, so the first one, which is really stupid and very dumb, and if you think about it for more than a few seconds, um, you'll know why. So these are things, by the way, that have affected me, both of these things. Uh, I, I'm not really in a position to get into it yet, but I, I will eventually. I, I, I feel that I owe this to you. But um, yeah, I'm a very introverted person, and I can tell you, though, that I don't need to be to know that the re... Oh, yes, okay, we stay indoors more than ever nowadays as a human race, but the reason for that is because we have more reasons to stay indoors than ever before. It's not just the newspaper and a box that tells you what to watch when it tells you to watch it. Um, we have so much to keep us indoors nowadays. And the only thing stopping us from owning that stuff is money. <laughs> the thing that we need to buy the stuff to keep us indoors is money. And not to mention the fact that the very term introverted is a little bit um, ambiguous and convoluted at the moment because you could just be working from home or, you know, you could live in a tremendously rough area or something like that. Um, and that could be what is keeping you indoors. The second one that really annoyed me a lot. Um, okay, so I am someone who has suffered a lot with depression and anxiety in my time. And I am also someone who works out. I, I'm, I, and I'm happy with my body. I'm happy with how things are going, largely. But it's not without its issues. Um, and in terms of working out... Uh, it becomes an obsession, and I think particularly when, it, when you're someone who is susceptible to a lot of mental health issues, uh, like myself, um, it can easily become an obsession. And I will say that, yes, I feel great when a workout goes well. I will say that I get a great serotonin boost, and I feel fantastic. But if I miss even two days in a row, I end up in a slump. I end up more depressed than ever before, pissed off with myself, physically squeezing my body and like just testing myself constantly and just angry at myself and more pissed off than I ever would have been if I didn't, I just didn't start working out. And a large part of my body just wishes, a part of my mind just wishes I hadn't started this horrible addiction, which really is what it is uh, to begin with. Because then when I don't get my fix, I am 
freaking pissed off. And in terms of leaving the house, okay, that's okay to say when you live in a, a, an okay, a, okay area where there's stuff to do and it's nice and there are places to go. Um, but where I live, wow, man, that's not the case. And uh, again, as someone who's suffered with this stuff, all it is, and I, I, I remember speaking to my therapist about this who had similar ideas, all it is is a reminder of how horrible the world is. When I have a very negative opinion of the world, and I, I don't feel good about it, leaving the house and seeing the chav sitting under the, under the bridge on the bench, you know, drinking cider or, or screaming old ladies, when I see that, I don't feel good. I'm not going to feel good. Now, I'm forced to leave the house a lot now because I want to give my daughter a good life. I want to take her places. I want to do things with her. And sometimes it is incredible. It does. It feels amazing when it's sunny and I see her playing on the swings, having an amazing time, laughing, enjoying herself. It is fantastic. And those moments, they help and they feel great. And at the end of the day, I feel fantastic about things. But that is not the majority of, of, of times. I do think you should leave the house. I think leaving the house is good. But it is not a cure, it's not a be-all end-all, and it is very circumstantial. And that's the thing, it ultimately comes down to the person. If, you've, if you live in a, a lovely, great area, go out for a walk, sure, I, I, I think that could help, you know, in a way. And it, 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 yeah, if it does help you, fantastic. Um, but if you don't, I, I just don't know if it's going to help you. And going out there and being like, this should help, this should be helping me, but it isn't, is just going to make everything worse. And I think that's part of the reason that this annoys me so much, because you're setting people up for failure. People who shouldn't be experiencing this mass level of failure, because they're, they're already mentally volatile. And I say this as someone who has experienced this. You should not be setting these people up like this and telling them that things will be okay if they do this because when it doesn't happen they're going to be tremendously disappointed and very pissed off and particularly in terms of the working out shit which is so stupid um telling people who are obsessed with things and aren't able to let things lie and overthink and overthink and overthink to start working out um is a very dangerous thing to do indeed and i i think it really should be up to the person because then they can meter it and measure it and make decisions based off of what they think not what someone has told them and that would ultimately be my advice for this video please ignore these people they are not trained professionals there's a reason professional therapists and psychologists and stuff like that have all of these posters and certificates on the wall because they have worked for it they are not speaking from their perspective they're trying to speak from your perspective and that's what's important these people on twitter are purely speaking from what works for them and from their perspective uh, and assuming that it will work for everyone else and that is not the case that's why these people aren't trained to do this because they're just incapable of doing so i'm incapable of doing so i know that but i also understand that it's variable from person to person and I need you to remember that too. Um, if you are struggling at all, uh, don't be afraid to reach out um, to me if you, if you have a way of doing so. They absolutely do that. Um, I, I can try to talk you through this. But again, I, I will make a video in the future where I try to um, give people access to what I've experienced. And I'm not looking forward to that because it's going to be a tough one. But um, I, I, I would like to, for people to feel good you know, and, and to try to help you with this. So if you do need to reach out um, in any way, please do. Um, but with all that said, I guess I'll see everyone later.